All right. If you're out there and you're trying to accomplish a goal that you've set for yourself and it's completely unique, completely you, and it's something very special that you have to offer the world, I hate it when people come up to you and say, hey, you're on the right path there, bud. No, that's bullshit. You shouldn't be on a path. If you are being completely unique and doing things completely your own way, you have to forge that shit out. You can't be on a path because that means someone's been there before. It makes no sense in the whole damn world. None. You have to be willing to go through the shit, the thick stuff, the nasty stuff. You have to be willing to take your cuts and take your lumps when you're on your way through. And the only reason I know that is because that's what I do with my business. I don't do it anything like anybody else out there does. I do it completely unique to me, and it's hard. Because when people tell you you're on the right path, it implies that it should be easy walking. And that's completely untrue. It should not be easy to follow your goals the way that you uniquely can and will do. It should not be easy. And whenever you have that in your mind, when that anxiety comes, when that feeling of loneliness comes, which it will come because you're out there by yourself, you're out there by yourself pursuing your goals in your own way, and no one's going to understand it first. It will be lonely. It will be anxiety-filled. You will feel lost because no one's ever been there before. But that's okay. That's exactly where you should be. And when someone tells you you're on a path, like I said, it, it, it implies it should be easy. And I hate telling people that. When I talk to people about accomplishing their goals, it's going to be hard. It's going to get dirty. It's going to be a nasty climb sometimes. And what happens is, is people get into those situations and they feel so lost and so anxiety filled and they start feeling panicked. Like they're not doing enough. Like they're like, like something is not being accomplished because it's really freaking hard and it's a slow burn. So what do you do? Naturally, you start to speed up. Whenever I did my survival trainings in the Air Force, that is the, one of the first things that you learn. When you're lost, slow down. Assess your situation. Remember things. Do not panic. Do not get sped up by your situation. You dictate that situation. The, the, the situation cannot dictate you. Because once you start speeding up, you start making mistakes. You start making really bad mistakes, and even worse, you start you start to not learn from that mistake because you're going so fast and they feel like they're piling on you. Slow down. Sit back down. Realize where it is you want to go. Make make that make that compass guiding, or not a compass guiding, make that landmark in front of you. Spiritually, physically, whatever. And set your eyes on that. Make it to that point and then go a little bit further. Build that trail for yourself a little bit further. You can freaking do it. You're supposed to be out there on your own. If you truly feel like you're unique and have something to offer, you will be on your own a lot. And that's perfect because that's where you learn. You're that type of person. Do not let that fear dictate you. Do not go looking for that easy path because like I said, someone's been there and done that before. You don't want to be there. That is not who you are or who you want to be. If you truly feel like you have something special to offer this world. Be special. Be unique. Push your way through all that shit on your own path. And people will follow you because you have built a path for them. Because in this world, there are leaders and there are followers. There's nothing wrong with being a follower. You have to have followers to have a leader. You have to. But if you feel like you're one of those leaders and you feel like you have so much to offer, freaking do it. But be ready to get kicked in the teeth on that path that you're building. Be ready for that shit. But you can do it. I know that you can freaking do it. And if this video pushed you towards that a little bit, gave you that little bit of motivation that you needed to do it another day, hell yeah. Go get some.